Hello and welcome to Civil Disobedience. Today we're going to talk about FEMA camp or temporary emergency environmental camps. Located in five regions in every state, up to three to fifteen. The size of the camps are five acres for one thousand inmates, and none shall be under three acres, which will house about five hundred inmates. Altogether, we uh estimated to be about 800 camps that means it can hold about 2 million people and you don't need to be a rocket scientist to figure out that that's not for terrorists that they're going to be for American citizens and they might say how are they going to watch 2 million people and how are they going to know who's a terrorist well this is where this thing called InfraGuard comes in now let's take a look at InfraGuard and get the footage alright here it is so you might think that what is it part of military or something that no these are your neighbors snitching on you and there's about 50,000 snitches across the United States and what's some of the benefits here to being a narc FBI certificate ooh nice little teacher's pet access to sensitive but unclassified information basically it's sensitive but yet you get it before I guess normal citizens get it Valuable networking opportunities. That means there's people in high power snitching on other people. Secure communications, which tells me that the communication that we do now, unless you're part of this, is not secure. Now, how close is a snitch to you? Well, if you see, chapters affiliate with 56 field offices and the FBI. Please choose your state. And it's every fucking state. The one closest to me is in Baltimore. I know what you're thinking, too. You're like, what, you really got to do some serious stuff for someone to consider you a terrorist, right? Well, let's see some of the things that are our government is saying is terroristic. All right. Words such as pork, domestic, hazmat, health concern, agent, homeland. If overheard by the wrong person using these words, you could be considered a terrorist. Uh, if you're missing a finger, you could be considered a terrorist. This is all on Google, y'all. Uh, buying too many flashlights. So if you're in a store and you buy too many flashlights, terrorist. Having a raw, a Ron Paul sticker. Well, I have no idea what even the fuck that's supposed to mean. Um, if you're a veteran coming home, you're high likely to be a terrorist. If you're caught taking pictures of the Statue of Liberty, you could be considered a terrorist. Uh, overdress. So until next time, guys, this is public disobedience. Watch who you're talking to. God bless the Constitution.